Dr. Daniel Makoli, the founder and executive chairman of Magdan Group of Companies, has expressed concern about Ghana's current economic state. He believes that the country is quickly turning into a dumping ground for foreign companies. He explained that Ghana's heavy reliance on foreign imports is hindering the country's ability to grow its economy and focus on industrialization. I salute you, Mr. Daniel Macaulay. This is a general disease in Africa. Yes, it's not just Ghana. A, a lot of African countries have this problem. And the earlier we start addressing it, the better for Africans and everybody. Yes, because instead of turning our countries to exporting countries, we are turning our countries to consuming countries. Our exportation is far lower than what we are importing. Some African countries are even going to the extent of importing toothpicks. As if we don't have enough trees in Africa. The thing is, we are the more we are importing these things, it makes us to rely more on these importations. And that is why you see that majority of the food items that are being sold in Africa or the agricultural products are very expensive. An average African cannot even afford some of them anymore because we are importing them. We are bringing them in with US dollar or one other country's currency. And at the end of the day, the importer will import it with another country's currency, pay landing costs, pay clearing costs, and by the time they bring it back into the market, they want to make profits. It is high time that African leaders, African countries should start turning Africa into exportation countries. We should export more and import less because we are turning our continent as a consuming continent that most of the things we are consuming is coming from outside africa that is why you see that there's a whole lot of sickness equally ongoing these days because some of the countries in which these things they are producing what they are bringing to us we don't even know under which conditions they are producing them. Because by the time our people start investing in industrialization, it will create a whole lot of jobs. It will make food items, every forms of products to be cheap for our people to afford it easily because we are producing it locally. Even though we know that some people will still prefer to buy imported items. But it's better that our imports are lesser while our exports are higher. Because when we invest heavily in industrialization, that means we will be into production, production of different kinds of products, which will make it easy for our people to carry out their day-to-day -day activities without having to go extra miles, without having to stress themselves, without having to limit themselves. Yes. So, because the more and more foreign country uh, companies are coming into Africa, yes, we will be like a dumping ground. People that don't produce anything. We import virtually everything. So, is a general problem of Africa. It's not just a Ghana issue. So every African country need to go back to drawing board. We need to invest heavily in production. Production of food items, building materials, everything that human beings, our citizens need to exist. We need to invest in them. Invest in human capital. Invest in educating our people. Invest in IT. Africa need to evolve. And there's no way Africa will evolve without investing heavily in industrialization and production. There's no way Africa can evolve if we keep importing far more than we are exporting out. That is the truth. It's, a, it's an African issue. It's not just a Ghana issue.